you driving like that? 137 miles per hour. He's got her at 137 pulling away from me. And then, Holy crap, were you sitting here? Yeah, I was sitting there. She said she ran out of gas, so I should stop here. Oh, <laughs> That's unlucky. Seven miles per hour. Got your driver's license with you? What's going on? Amy, can you turn the car off for me, please? You're not gonna take off or go anywhere, are you? Okay, is this your car? Do you have the registration paperwork? Thank you. What's going on? You having a, some issues or are you upset? For, what about? How much have you been drinking? You got an open Michelob light right in your cup holder there. Okay, where are you where are you driving to? Okay, but when I first saw you, you were going east. Where are you coming from? Going where the wind takes me. Okay. Where are you coming from? Austin, Minnesota. Okay. We'll tighten the car. I'll be back with you in a couple minutes, okay? her. Yeah, got she her admit to it? <laughs> got her at 137 pulling away from me. And then, Holy crap, were you sitting here? Yeah, I was sitting there, got her at 119, coming over the bridge, slowed down to 100. I pulled out, she hammered on it, you know, weave, weave in and out. Got up to 137, same lane, and then shot off the two. I, I didn't see her shoot off until I was under there and I saw her up on the off ramp. She went north on uh, Dawson. I went past, turned around, came back, and I saw a white car get on heading west. I wasn't going to catch up. She was pulled over here before I turned my lights on. But she's crying. She's got an open Michelob uh, can of beer in the Nine cup holder. I'm going to go talk to her a little bit. Okay. 
Yeah. What's he say to you? So she told me she was coming from Austin, Minnesota and heading to somewhere in North Dakota. Fargo, yeah. Fargo, okay. Uh, and that the reason she left is because she Frank felt something was going on there. She wouldn't really elaborate as to what she thought was going on. I said, do you know where you're at right now? And she's like, well, clearly the Mississippi. I said, okay, we're on the border of Wisconsin, Minnesota. She was, holy fuck, really? So doesn't really know she's over here. She said she didn't see you behind you. I don't know how you wouldn't, but yeah. She's like, just fucking take me to jail. And I said, what would we take you to jail for? Since speeding and almost hitting cars. So. Think she's drunk? I said, how much you had to drink? She says, nothing. You can give me a breathalyzer. That's from last night. She told me that, too. I can smell it in there, but I don't know. It smells of drunk. alcohol in there. Yeah. So, I don't know. Something just is weird with it. Yeah. She's got a receipt for days in in Austin on the passenger seat. Or like an invoice or whatever the hell it is. Do field it a rental car or what is it? She's got purchase paperwork, so I think she it was a rental car and then she bought it. to start, you're going to take a series of nine heel to toe sets coming out loud. One, two, three, going down to nine, okay? Okay. Wanna just come back here then, okay? 
You can leave your purse there for now. I'll get it for you. Elijah head eastbound, get off, and then come back westbound. She's like, because the officer pulled out and turned his lights on us, and so he just kept driving again. Like, so then why'd you pull over, or why would you go back westbound? She said, to get away from the officer. Oh. How was that? She said she ran out of gas, so why she stopped here. No oh, shit. <laughs> That's unlucky. Yeah. I she suppose. I just quit, I think I ran out of gas. I suppose when you're going over 100, it burns it up pretty fast. Yeah. Yeah, she didn't know she was in Wisconsin. Huh. So if you want, you could go looting. Yeah. She's got some para. Yeah, para, a couple hundred bucks so far. Pot pipe and a grinder and some weed in it. belong to? My friend. That India? Uh-huh. Why do you have it? I don't have it. That's her stuff. Okay, so why? And I, I thought they were acting weird, so I left them. Acting. They didn't want to tell me, and I left them. Acting weird at all? I don't know. Laughing. Smiling. Looking at each other. Okay. So and, I uh, left them. The trooper said your car quit. You think you're out of gas, maybe? You want us to call a tow truck for you? No. What's your plan on getting your car out of here? I don't know. So obviously it's not in a very safe spot for to stay there for very long. Yeah. Okay. I'm not lying about that, I guess. Ten fifty four. You gonna take her to jail? Ah, uh, see it's a jail taker. Probably. Yeah. Can you put me through to the jail sergeant? Jail, do you think she was okay? She was zeroes on PPT. If anything, it's going to be narcotics, but... Hey, it's Scissor Campbell. Hey, it's Scissor Campbell. Okay, um, so I've got an arrest. Um, it's a felony fleeing and eluding girl from North Dakota. She also has a car. Just wondering if you would, you would take her on that. The only reason she stopped is she ran out of gas. Yeah. <laughs> All right, 137 miles per hour is the speed I got her. She's goofy. We did fields. I, I don't. I think she's drunk, but there's an open uh, beer in the car. We PPT her, she was zeroes, but she, uh, I don't know, her story's really, really strange. Step on here for me. Can you put your hands behind your back for me? And be placed under arrest for uh, fleeing an officer, okay? You understand what that means? Yeah. Okay. Do you want us to grab anything out of your car that you need to take with you? Your purse or a phone or something? My purse. Okay. A purse. Is that that little black one? Do you have any pockets in your... Alright, I'm just gonna... Okay. Nothing in your waistband or anything like that? Okay. Nothing hidden under your clothing or in your body anywhere? Okay, have a seat. Please. 
just lean back. I got a sticker seatbelt on here. And you said just your black purse. Is it? You have a phone or something in there for when you get out? You can call somebody. You don't want it. You don't want it. Okay. Thank you.